Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Vivian from the Waco Library. Well, I want to show you something. What do you think this is? Oh, I hear you. I heard watermelon. I heard a green watermelon. Mm-hmm, melon. Exactly. Well, according to a really tricky fox, this is an egg. Yeah, that's right, an egg, a green egg. And what do you think is going to come out of this egg? Egg? E -oh. A donkey. Well, let's see how this story, how it kind of comes to pass. Donkey egg, yeah, that's what it's called. The Donkey Egg by Janet Stevens. Up on the hill lived a grumpy old bear. His farm was a wreck and it needed repair. But bear didn't care. He just slept in his chair. And he growled at his neighbor's fox and hare. Wake up, bear, cried Fox. I know you want to turn this place back into a mighty fine farm, grow some mighty fine crops, and have a mighty fine life. But you need help, and I've got just the thing. <laughs> what thing? Ta-da! A donkey! Well, that's not a donkey. Not yet, but it will be. It's a donkey egg. A genuine, certified donkey egg. Still green, gotta ripen and hatch. That's where you come in. Keep it warm safe and happy like a little mama bird on her nest. It's gonna take some time now. Minutes, hours, days, weeks, months. So you gotta be patient. And then, voila, a donkey. Well, as you know, Bear, Lots of animals come from eggs. Dinosaurs, chickens, platypuses, alligators, and donkeys. It's the truth. I can see it now. Why, your fields are plowed, your house is painted, you and your donkey sitting on the porch, watching the sunset. Ha, what a deal! And it's a steal. <laughs> Today, only 1995. No way, said Bear. <sighs> okay, I'll settle for that $20 bill. Sold, it's a done deal. <laughs> Fox scooped up the cash, disappeared in a flash, and all that was left was Bear in his chair. And a gigantic green donkey egg. Oh, no, that old fast-talking fox. Well, now, what am I supposed to do? Oh, yeah. Keep it warm. Hmm. So, like a big mama bird, Bear carefully sat this way and that. He sat and he sat. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tickety-tack, tickety-tack, clickety-clock. Minutes passed, no donkey. Neighbor Hare had just begun his daily run when he... <coughs> Reached to a halt. Hey, bear, you out 
of your chair. I'm sitting on my donkey egg. What? Donkeys don't come from eggs. Yes, they do. Like dinosaurs, and chickens, alligators, and platypuses, even tortoises. I'm keeping it warm so it will hatch. Been sitting for a whole hour. No donkey. Well, <laughs> you keep sitting and I'll keep running, said Hare. I got another race with tortoise. <laughs> and off went Hare, leaving Bear to sit and sit and sit. Mustn't quit. Hours passed. No donkey. Oh, what do I do now? Oh, I remember. Keep it safe. Bear cradled the egg and sang, rock a donkey, my little one. Ripen and hatch, there's work to be done. If there is danger, I will be there. You'll be my donkey, I'll be your bear. Hare came by again. Hey, bear, you're rocking and singing in your chair. Uh, I'm keeping my donkey egg safe, replied Bear. I've been rocking all day. No donkey. Well, <laughs> you keep rocking and I'll keep running. Gotta win that race. See ya. And off went Hare. And Bear began to rock and rock and rock. Days pass, no donkey. Oh, now what? Oh yeah, keep it happy. Hmm. He told Egg a tale of a girl and three bears. Fables with tortoises, foxes, and hares. Bear acted out plays where he played every part, and again and again, he did it till he knew them by heart. Bear pointed his toes as he leaped through the air. He played peek-a-boo, hiding under his chair. And for the third time, Bear, Hare said, you're under your chair? I'm playing with my donkey egg, said Bear, keeping it happy so it'll hatch. I've been playing all week, still, no donkey, but there will be. <laughs> so you just keep running, I'll just keep playing. I'm gonna hatch that egg and you gonna beat that tortoise. And off went Hare, leaving Bear to play and play and play. Night and day. Tickety-tock, clickety-clock, weeks passed. No donkey. Through wind and rain and snow, Bear stayed. He sang and sat, he rocked and played. He loved that egg with all his heart. Never was there quite a pair, Bear and Egg, Egg and Bear. Only napping here and there, Bear grew tired. Really tired, really, really tired. Oh, he couldn't keep from falling, falling fast. Oh no, my egg is rolling. No, help, help, egg on the loose. Hare's ears perked up. Egg on the loose, Hare to the rescue, and the chase was on. 
It was egg out in front, bear close behind, and there's hare bringing up the rear. Round the turn, egg leading, hare speeding, bear stampeding. Across the road, egg tumbling, hare stumbling, bear fumbling. <laughs> Through the field, bear thrashing, hare dashing, egg crashing, crash, swoosh. My donkey hatched. I got him by the ears. Ouch, hey, hey, those are my ears hollowed hair, and can't you see? Don't you see it? It's not a donkey egg, it's a watermelon. Oh, but it can't be. Fox said it was a genuine certified donkey egg. Fox? You believe Fox? Bear hung his head. He tricked me. Fox tricked me. No donkey egg. No baby donkey. No nothing. And there wasn't a sound as Bear looked around. And there on the ground, guess what he found? Seeds. Hmm. Bear had an idea. I've got work to do. Oh, well, you start working and I'll... Well, ah, oh, who cares about a silly old race? And for hours, then days, Bear and Hare tilled this land, and they weeded and planted and watered by hand. For weeks, then months, the plants grew and grew, May, June, July, they were growing into watermelons everywhere to market, to market with bear and hare to sell those melons. And what did they buy? Ta-da! Yep, that's right. They bought a donkey. Hmm. Fox was like, egg? Donkey? Hmm. <laughs> Off ran Bear with donkey and hare to fix up his farm that needed repair. And all that was left was... I hope you enjoyed the story of the donkey egg. <laughs> Think about it each time you eat some watermelon. There might be a donkey inside. <laughs> so come by and see us at the library. Come by and check us out. <gasps> oh yes, and don't forget to sign up for the Summer Reading Club. It's easy, if I can do it, you certainly can. You go online to our website and sign up. Sign up the whole family. Prizes, challenges, awesome. You will have a great time. Sign up. Don't forget.